Hi guys, and welcome to my first ever Wi-Fi battle. Now, this was kind of weird. I didn't really expect to do a Wi-Fi battle, but hey, here I am right now doing some Wi-Fi battles. So here's my first ever Wi-Fi battle with Brian Sherman, the one. Or Brian. I send out Kyogre. Um, cause I can, and he's gonna send out his shadow, and his Absol, and I'm gonna get up for rain, which is very, very nice, and he's gonna protect to see what I wanna do, and I actually go water spell, um, and no, this isn't a true skull, true spec, Kyorg, it's not, nope, no, he goes into his Shows you there the small axe as I go water spell again. Now this actually does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Nearly KOs a small axe in one hit when it's a special, which is pure power. Um it's gonna get its leftovers coming into play. Which is fine. I mean I can just I'm just playing safe, going for another water spout to see if he wants to switch or anything. But he did sacrifice his, his um, snore for it here. So this is actually a bulky Kyorg, um, with max special attack, EVs with the moves, water spout, calm mind, rest, and thunder. Very powerful. Now, I'm just sending guard of eye right here. As I go again, water spout, and this was like, I think this was like, my like second to last water spell um so that kind of sucked oh, i should have i should really pp max water spell i really should i mean i have enough pp maxes i mean come on now so yeah it's kind of cool and now it's gonna go into zeus his jolteon and i am very scared so i go into my steelix um, so yeah, and it goes thunder, and of course, that's the whole reason why I switched in this Elix, because Zeus can do a thing, and now he's going to switch into his Swamp Art, which sucked, I really should have, um, actually no, what am I talking about, I was just about to say I should have gone boom with explosion, but um, no, I shouldn't have actually done that. I definitely should have done what I did. So now I go into my Breloom. This is the most annoying part of the match. Look what he does. He goes Surf. And look what he does. This irritated me. I thought I would stop. No. Look what he does. Crit. That annoyed me. That really irritated me. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to get the Toxic Orb. Um, because this is my Poison Hill Toxic, my Poison Hill Toxic Core Breloom with Seed Bomb, Sky Uppercut, Sub, and Focus Punch. No Spore. I know, weird set for a Breloom. It expects Spore, but it doesn't, it does not have Spore. So, yeah. And Seed Bomb is of course going to take out the Swamper in one hit, which is very, very nice. And of course, this is why I got the Toxic Core from the um, Battle Frontier is, so then Breloom could be a tank. I also have one for my Machamp because it has Guts, I believe. And that's also a sub focus punch set. So that's very, very nice. And now it's going to go in Shadow. And it does have Quick Attack. I'm saving Breloom for later. I know Steelix can take a Dark move or a Normal move. I know this thing had Quick Attack from one of our last battles. And look how much I did. None. Absolutely none. And um, now, um, I think he switches, yeah, he does, he switches into Altaria. Um, yeah, it switches into Altaria. Now, this thing is a Sing Double D set, um, again, from one of our last battles. I got Earthquake, it fails because I can't predict. Because I'm just rubbish at predicting. Yeah, like I said, it's a Sing Double D, um, Double D. Um, DD set, like Dragon Dance, 
Okay, yeah, dragon dance, dragon claw, fly, and sing. Um, I know all its moves from, again, one of our last battles that we've had. Now, he's gonna switch Altaria out into Zeus. Do not ask me what. I do. Oh, probably predicting the switch. That'll be it. Predicting the switch in a Kyogre again. Which was a brilliant prediction on his part, even though at that minute I was thinking, why switching to Zeus? Really? Now, I have to switch. I decide to go into my Raticate. Not thinking, ooh, you had the Thunder, of course, because I'm a Denso and the rain's up, so. That'll be supercharged, and that is going to KO my Raticate. I didn't get a chance to show off my little rat. <laughs> I think I'm the first ever person to use Eradicate. <laughs> but now I'm gonna go into my pollution. Now this is the most annoying bit. That's defense. And guess what? Again, it got a crit. Yep. Watch. It would have probably only done like 300 HP damage, but oh no. Not this time. Of course, I got the crit. Starkey 216 HP, and that sucked. I went for a pointless sidekick. It was pointless at this moment, because Blissey was going to die. Look how much it did. I was really surprised. This is actually a Blissey with the moons Flamethrower, Psychic, T-Boat, and Softboiled. No wish. No, just Softboiled. Again, I have the weirdest sets for Pokemon. No Stone Age on my champ either. Nope. And I was hoping Blissey could survive, but I knew in my heart that he didn't have it in. So, Blissey goes down and rain keeps on falling. It's annoying. Now, this, this Jolteon, this Zeus thing, was a real pain in my back. So I thought, ah, I can wall this thing with Celebi. Nope, it has Shadow Ball and Bite. I don't know why it has Bite. Because it has Shadow Ball for that. Now, I go Leech Seed. Now, this Celebi is actually a absolute beast of a wall. It's incredible. You try fighting this thing. Unless you're, you are like, a good, like, I don't know, like, a super awesome, like, unless you have an Arceus, you can probably not take down this thing in three hits. Now, it, now that's where it shows off bite. Now, this gives me the ideal time to recover. And that was needed. That must have been the misplay of the match for him. He should, uh, in my opinion, he should have just gone for another Shadow Ball. But, um, hey, I'm not in this guy's shoes. So, yeah. Um, so I just go for Lead Sheet. Do that. And again, it's health drops, which is very, very nice. And this is where he withdraws and goes into his Absol. Now, this thing, like I said, again, was a pain in my back. I predict that very nicely and go Carmine on the switch. I really should have gone Lead Sheed, but um, hey, we all made misplays at times. So, he made a really good protection going in Shadow, but I just went fully cheated to wall out any of this guy's moves and he went sword stance which is okay for me i really don't care i really didn't care at that point because i could just lead cheat him out i was like sword stance okay fine i can take this i can do this really no big deal and i just got energy ball hopefully take this thing out and with one car mind that is going to take out his Absol, which is very nice. So, I think next he, does he go into his, oh, he, yeah, he goes into his Altara and sings. Now, I was right, right now, I was screaming through the mic, the Nintendo mic. Sleep Claws! Remember Sleep Claws! Oh no! Um, so that was two Pokemon Sleep, which in my opinion was unfair. He should have run here. But no, he didn't, of course. 
But um, I was willing. I was ready to battle. I mean, so it was my first ever battle. I wanted to finish it. Uh, I wouldn't mind if he ran away, but oh well, I guess. C class doesn't really mind. Um, don't really bother me, but uh, it does bother me when like I'm f when it's like my first ever battle. You want to follow the rules, don't you? But um, oh well. Hey ho, life goes on. Um, and Celebi's leftovers and Elite Sheed is really, really taking a toll on him. It is so good. This Celebi's been out for how long and it still hasn't gone, like, anywhere near fainting. So I'm still asleep. And this flies. And not being funny, that was absolutely fine. <laughs> to be fair, I wanted it to fly. I think. I didn't want it to go drain clock because that would, would have just been more damage. I just wanted it to waste to go off of fly and then I could switch into my Steelix, which is really cool. And then it its fly will do nothing Steelix. I, I had exactly the right Pokemon. I couldn't have big, picked better Pokemon for this battle. And by the way, this is actually like a mixed battle. Um, you could use whatever Pokemon you wanted. Pretty much, it, it was just like random bow that we didn't really care about. It was just for fun. Um, and he goes Dragon Claw as the last two Wrath is out Taria, and look how much he did. Lols. Um, I'm still asleep, which I really sucked. I was so annoyed. It's actually a good thing I was still asleep because I actually went explosion on my guy thinking that he would switch. So that was actually good, but um, I stayed asleep. But then again, I shouldn't really have done that, because why would he switch out right now? I mean, his Altari is useless. And his final Pokemon that he has is his Jolteon. And this is where we finish it. It goes for Pointless Shadow Ball right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just for, like, lols. And he gets a crit, which is kind of awkward. I didn't really care at this point, I was already celebrating, I was already getting the beer out, well not really, but you know, I was already saying, Mom, Dad, I won! <laughs> um, so yeah, he goes Shadow Ball, and that does none. And then, time for the finish. And again, he gets so lucky in his battle, but still last. He gets a special fence stop, I go Earthquake, I take him out. And it's good game, Brian Charmander won, I enjoyed it. For my first ever battle and first ever battle for YouTube on this channel. That is very, very nice. Good finish. I'm very pleased to have battled you. We should battle sometime. Again. Now. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope if you want you, you can comment below if you want to battle with me. Um just post your friend code, I will post mine, um, as well, um, I will PM you, um, you, these are my rules, you're allowed one Uber, if you want, um, uh, unless it's, like, a schedule battle, like, O U or N U or U U. um, apart from that, if it's just about for fun, then you're allowed one Uber, like I use, I use my Kyog. And then you allow five random Pokemon of your choice. It doesn't really bother me as long as they're not used. You can lose you can use a Celebi or you can use a Maggie Cup. I really don't care. So good day and good night. And good morning to anybody who watches this at whatever time they're watching it. Thank you and goodbye.